Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome back to Robot Boy and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Game Awards nominations for 2018 that were just revealed the other day, in particular focusing on one naughty little nomination for a certain game that really took me by surprise actually. There are some super heavy hitting contenders in 2018's Game Awards lineup. God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Spider-Man dominating a lot of the major categories with cult hits like Octopath Traveler and even Fortnite racking up some decent nominations too. I was expecting God of War and Red Dead Redemption 2 to be leading the awards obviously, and I think Spider-Man did really well to go up against these masterpieces in most of the categories too. And one of my personal surprising favourite games of the year, Detroit Become Human, was also nominated for some great awards too, which I'm very pleased about, I thought that was an excellent game. However, I think the biggest surprise nomination for me, and for a lot of people actually, was No Man's Sky for Best Ongoing Game. Now I'm not surprised because it doesn't deserve to be nominated and I'm like Ugh. obviously if you've watched my channel anyway. Rather I think the fact that it is even being recognised by the Game Awards in 2018 is a very important and significant milestone for the gaming industry as a whole. Uh, more on that point generally later. Anyway, we in the No Man's Sky community, let's be honest, we're preaching to the choir when we go on to each other about how admirable and inspiring it is that Hello Games have continued to work on and update No Man's Sky for free for two years straight. We all know this, we talk about it amongst ourselves, but I honestly never thought I'd see such a high profile organisation, an awards institution like this, recognise this as well. To put this all into context, let's have a look at what No Man's Sky is actually up against in this category. Destiny 2, Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, and the mother of all, Fortnite. No Man's Sky is up against Fortnite in an awards nomination category. These are massive games made by some of the biggest game studios in the world, and yet here little old No Man's Sky is fighting out for its place as best ongoing game. And looking at the description as well for this category, it does make sense. Awarded to a game for outstanding development of ongoing content that evolves the player experience over time. This has definitely happened with No Man's Sky. If you rewound the clock to just after the launch for No Man's Sky, how even just six months ago before Next released, the prospect of this game being nominated for an award at the Game Awards in 2018 would have been ridiculous. If you even asked me earlier in the year and other avid fans of the game, I think you would have gotten a similar response of no way that's never going to happen despite our love and passion for the game. I was unfortunately just accepting that the internet had buried No Man's Sky in the ground and despite Hello Games' best efforts no matter what they would do, it would never be respected for its attempts to redeem itself. Alas. Here we are, and I am so glad that I was proven wrong. So what is the significance of No Man's Sky being nominated for best ongoing game in the gaming industry? Or even just as an example in general? I think it does prove that no matter what, working hard and honestly to fix mistakes and to care for what people want does pay off. It shows, it shows respect for the players, it shows passion, it shows love, it shows pure creativity and artistry. And it also somewhat shines a light on the middle line studios who do, to an extent, work their way just to pump out mediocre content on a conveyor belt with the main objective of just raking in as much cash as possible as quickly as they can. And unfortunately, that is an issue plaguing the gaming industry at the moment. So, this is very exciting. No Man's Sky finally being recognised for the huge amount of passion, love and effort being put into it by Sean Murray and the rest of the incredible team at Hello Games. As I say, going up against these heavy hitters is pretty incredible, pretty remarkable, and I think you've got to show a lot of damn respect to them for that. And I think this nomination really will show to a lot of people who still are skeptical about No Man's Sky that this is no joke. They've turned this around. It's this is no longer the laughing stock. This is no longer the scapegoat of the industry. This is more an example of what you should do when everything goes wrong. So that's it, everyone. Let's do our best to get Hello Games to do the impossible and win a game award in 2018. You can also vote in every category every 24 hours, so do make sure you check back again and vote if you have time after your first one. I'll leave a link to vote in the awards down in the description below, so do make sure to follow that and check it out. Anyway, please do leave your ideas and thoughts in the comments below as well. What do you think about No Man's Sky's nomination here at the Game Awards? Were you as shocked as I was, or were you like, nah? That was always going to happen. Do you think they deserve it? And most importantly, do you think they have a chance of winning? Remember, you can vote for them by heading over to the link in the description and showing your support. 
I'll be releasing a video later this week of me filling out my votes for the different awards too, which I'm looking forward to doing. That should be quite fun. As always, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and do subscribe to join me on this journey if you haven't done so already. I've got some merch up on Redbubble if you want to purchase any funky retro Robot Boy items, and if you're feeling super generous, please do head over to my Patreon to help support the channel, and the links to both of those are in the description below. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah.